made an interesting setup. But if Bad holds the close angles, he could make that shotgun work and definitely do some damage. However, oh, Bad actually gets the kill. Lovely. Bad successfully taking down and upgrading to that SMG. Snakey Jakey, meanwhile, doing good damage with the AK, and now it's down to Tom and Snakey. Both rather low. One hit from both. Ooh. Snakey Jakey actually getting the kill and getting also the plant for the additional 300. Lovely. Picking up their first T side round. This has damaged the economy enough for uh, CT side to only do a half buy and T side to fully buy up on most nades and AKs. Lovely. But an aggressive play absolutely decimates that immediately, making that buy almost completely useless. A shame. <laughs> and now <laughs> CT side has upgraded to two AKs. And full nades and armor, obviously. With the uh, shotgun and AK by coming through once again. Which is proving pretty successful. I won't lie, I'm kind of impressed with how successful. However, at that distance, probably not. A shame. Uh, Tom takes out both quite successfully, it's defending the site, and Walkie Slush is now on four rounds to Wooden Spoons one. Oh, so apparently my mic's too quiet, but I'm assuming that's fixed uh, without my need to do anything. A uh, Wooden Spoon uh, going in for an SMG buy here, and... Tom and Peter having full buys and nades to hopefully hold off the site. Wooden Spoon only having one flash makes this uh, a little bit of a difficult round. But if they can utilize that one flash in a good way and perhaps blind one of the players and force a 1v1, could be successful. Unfortunately, there goes that one flash and now it's left up to Snakey Jakey to use it. He pushes on two sides, but the others are just penciling behind. Ooh! A lovely kill there. And he almost gets it. I I, I didn't expect him to get the uh, pincer because they were both moving in at the same time, but he actually managed to wiggle his way out into a 1v1. Unfortunately, it doesn't pan out. And their economy is not looking good. They will probably have to full eco here. Other team can afford nades, whatever they need, armor guns. Uh, Walkie Slush is looking very good right now in terms of uh, killing and economy. I expect this round to, to go in the way of them. But hopefully with their economy reset, uh, t side should maybe be able to pick up another round. Alright, that's the uh, end of the round. It went the uh, way I expected it to, with Walkie Slush picking up another round and making it 6 1. I apologize for the delay in my uh, voice there. I was very quickly checking a message. And we have an AWP buy from T Side. Very interesting. Usually, T Side Wingman, you don't buy an AWP because it's high risk, high reward, and if you can't place it, you may die um, and lose a lot of economy. But definitely a play that could work if he can make the shots work, which he unfortunately can't. Uh, I can understand why that buy was made. Had he been able to just uh, hit the shot through on too long, he might have been able to take side control and T-Side would have had an easier time pushing on. However, unfortunately, it didn't quite pan out that way and they lost that round. But it was the final round, so no economy lost anyways.
uh, we're back on pistols now for the uh, switching teams, and it's a pretty standard pistol, pistol armor on the T side, and pistol flash on the CT, saving their economy, I assume, for the SMG round. T side pushes onto site, and they've successfully taken out one and members. So, and they get the plant, lovely. So now it's up to Snake and Jakey to retake. Which unfortunately he doesn't do so. Meaning it is now 8 1 match point map 1. Let's see how this pans out. We have AKs and SMGs buys for the terrorists, and full SMGs and armor force for the CTs. Which, if they can convert this into a win, will mean that they'll be able to continue. And it just doesn't happen, unfortunately. They get immediately destroyed. And that's map one done. I think we move on to Inferno next. It's not looking good for them. They do have to kind of recover their economy, I feel, if they hope to uh, take it into T-side. Snakey getting a lovely dink on the uh, sorry, uh, Deagle there. And Peter returning in kind. Turnabout is fair play, I suppose, so. Bad with his own Deagle on site. Let's see how this pans out. Unfortunate for Bad there. If he had stayed still, he might have been able to get that. I don't think Peter had any idea exactly where he was, and he was already looking towards Long. That is just a really unfortunate stand-up. That would have been very cool to watch had that panned out, and Bad would have been able to recover his economy. However, we have an SMG and Deagle buy on CT side, and just the same rifles on T side. We do have some utility usage. Unfortunately, that may nade does not go where he'd wanted to. Flash out. And Snakey's taken out. Lovely shot from Peter there, just dinking him straight in the head. And they get the extra 300, it looks like. No, they did not, unfortunately. Nades coming in for Wooden Spoon, and also an SMG, and again a Deagle buy. It seems they're electing to try and use Deagles to get headshots to uh, take the rounds, hopefully, so they can keep their economy. It is not working out for them so far, but... If they can actually place the shots, they might be able to turn this around. Lovely, bad getting the first eagle dink. Words I never thought I'd say with uh, a straight face. Tom responding in kind, as one does. And now he's on the side. And looking, I think, the plan is going to just separate No, nope. bad getting both. Lovely! Wooden Spoon getting their first round on the on the board. And hopefully they can convert this uh, last round of the half with full rifles. And push for two six. That'd be lovely to see. On the T side, electing for their own eagle and rifle buy. Peter doing lovely with the eagle so far. Upgrades to an AK from the fallen body. Bad getting a lovely deagle shot himself. They've really just been trading deagle shots this whole game. Walkie Slash picking up 1-7 for the first half, and now it moves on to the second, with uh, them moving to CT, and respectively the other team moving to T, as that is how that works. Standard pistol buys, I assume, coming in for walkie slush, which will be pistol armor, and then wooden spoon usually elect to save. With some nades this time. Those nades, unfortunately, do not save them from the cold, hard grass of Tom with his pistol, who murders both of them in quick succession. Walkie slush electing to go full on and try and end this by electing to buy a rifle and SMG and full nades. They do have the economy for it, and I assume they're pretty confident with the win. 
But their economy will be absolutely ruined if this does not pan out. Like, oh, I speak too soon. As with ever with being with matches, it's over before I could even get the words out. And Walkie Slush win! Congratulations, they take both maps to win the first match of the day.